Tonight is a special night because a good friend of uh, Black and Nobel's has done a special, special thing that's not ordinary. Um, his name's Jason Brown, good friend of ours here at Black and Nobel, and um, my brother Anthony Fatah. Uh, you know, recently, this man has been working on a project, him and his partners. Uh, it, he's able to generate electricity from the sun, guys, and the natural light. So what he's going to do tonight is explain to you how he created it, why he created it, how, and what's going on. Uh, the, the Spore chargers are very, very easy to use, very easy to charge. He's going to explain it. This is Jason Brown, and this is Anthony Fatah. Uh, I'll let Anthony go on first so he can give us some more hype man stuff going on, because he has a, a wealth of information, too, about Jason. We all... I don't want anybody to leave yet. Y'all got to hear this, because you're going to be in line to get one. It's for everybody, and it's breaking from right here at Black and Nobel. You don't have to use electricity to charge your phone and your iPads and everything. He's really in the building with us tonight. He's blowing up on Google Kickstarter right now as we speak, so we called him up so he can come out tonight so we could be the first to know. That is, it's not just for open mic rapping. This is the educational part that's going to help all of us. Hold on, guys. Everybody doing out there tonight? Very good. Um, my friend, very close brother of mine, Jason, he's a Drexel student. Um, I met him a while back, and he was sharing his vision of what he was trying to create and how he was trying to harness power from the sun. And he was basically talking about direct current and making small stations of energy grids utilizing the energy of the sun and he elaborated on it to me and got me all caught up in it and I was like wow this is amazing this technology I think we can really use this in the hood and he's always been there and tonight I wanted to share this opportunity so everybody could see what we have amongst us and I want y'all to support grassroots support green support the community and we have some powerful technology here tonight and so right now I'm going to give it up for my brother Jason Brown and his company called Score. Hello, uh, nice to be here. Love Black and Nobel, love what they're about, love Hakeem, love Anthony, I'm sure I love all of you too. Um, this is Sport, it's basically my first product, uh, it stemmed from my need to charge my devices. My phone dies all the time, I wanted a good device to charge it. Also at the same time I was messing around with electronics and I needed a way to power different, I don't know, systems, call it, right? So if I wanted to invent something, how do I power it? This is my solution on how to power that. What I realized is a lot of other people can use it, um, you know, not just you know us here, but people in developing countries. Uh, business travelers, anything. People want to get off the grid. It doesn't matter. Uh, this product is a lot larger than I am. Um, so as I started developing it, you know, again, working with, with Black and Nobel and, um, you know, a lot of it just with engineers, understanding how to build a product, we realized it's not that complicated. Uh, solar is cheap and people don't realize that. And honestly, we take a lot of our energy from a grid that's not sustainable. If you know anything about, um, you know, how we generate our electricity as a country, um, there's nothing sustainable about it. Uh, so this is kind of my solution to that, you know, if not just for myself, uh, if other people want to use it. So let me explain the device first, then I'll explain kind of the everything else about it, and then I'll tie it back up with exactly what we're trying to do here. So this is the device that I'm currently selling online on a, a website called kickstarter.com. How Kickstarter works is you come up with an idea, you put it up, uh, and you market it, and people can either buy it, or not, or they can just support you. You could throw a dollar in. You could, you know, you give me ten thousand dollars. It doesn't matter. There's no limit. Uh, at certain limits, you will get this. So if you pledge, you know, anywhere from forty to sixty dollars, you will get one of these plus cables. Um, so this is my way of kind of starting bootstrapping the funding of, of this product. The way the Kickstarter works is, if you don't raise the amount of money that you tried to raise your goal, you don't get any of it. So it all goes back to the people that, that bought it. My goal is $100,000, and I'm $40,000 there. I have 25 days to go. So basically, I have 25 days to raise $60,000 selling these. All right? So 
the product is basically a solar battery charger. Inside this right here is a battery. This battery could charge your iPhone three and a half times. Or, you know, your phone one time, your friend's phone one time, another friend's phone one time, and, you know, somebody who has like a tiny phone or uh, doesn't use their phone that much, right? Um, it passively recharges itself from the sun. So basically, if you have this outside, it will always be collecting energy and topping up the battery inside of it. It's passively charging itself. Under this light, it probably wouldn't, but if I got it closer, it would be generating light. It would be recharging itself from indoor light, right? You can charge multiple devices at one time, so you can charge a tablet and an iPhone at the same time. Uh, and they would both accept it, and they come with cables, so USB cables. Uh, I forgot the fabric or the gooseneck cables that I have, but basically if you go online, you'll see it, what I'm talking about. It's, uh, it's a bendable, adjustable cable, right? It's like metal cord, so you can kind of wrap it around things. Uh, it's, it's ultimately pretty useful. So on top of that, beyond the cables, I also am selling solar panels. So this solar panel is 10 times as powerful as the solar panel on here and it will regenerate this battery faster if you have it out in the sun, if that makes sense. Um, so what you just created there with this and that is uh, electricity grid. Basically, you, you are creating your own power for your mobile devices, and I think that's kind of cool, and I want one myself. That's why I'm doing this project. What I realize a lot of other people want them, it's just the question becomes, how do you reach those people? You know, we reach out to people online, we reach out to tech blogs, we reach out to influencers, and I'm here sitting talking with you because I feel like you know, maybe even just one person in this place would want the same thing that I want. Um, so that's kind of the product. Uh, I would be happy to answer any questions about Kickstarter, myself, the product, um, and then ultimately if we wrap it up, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about exactly how I feel this could change the world. I'm going to tell you guys, um, when Jason brought the spore, I came and brought it to Hawk, and I was telling him how amazing it was. And so it, ironically, his phone was dying, and he was down to 2%, and I had the spore, Jason had the spur on him, and he let him charge up and he got from 2 to 42 in 8 minutes Whoa. you know so when I say we got power we got power we timed it here and you know being out your phone died like lately my phone I've been so busy my phone has been dying a lot and I'm like dang I need a spore it's not a phone it's a computer we keep calling it a phone I yeah. think we do everything on yeah we do everything on we do do everything on, on our phones <laughs> you know we live in a mobile age right now and everything is on our uh, or on, is on our mobile devices. So having power in the palm of your hand, not having to charge up in the wall, not having to sit there or wait for your phone to charge up, that's putting power in our hands. Like, you know, like I said, power is like power to the people. Hi. Did you invent the battery yourself? Like, okay. That's, I think that's the greatest part about this product is that I didn't invent, I didn't invent any of the components. They're already mature technologies. Lithium ion batteries have been around for decades at this point, you know, in research. And they're extremely stable, extremely energy dense. They carry a lot of energy. I'm not an engineer, to be honest with you. I just put this together. I like making stuff. It's kind of, that's how I basically put this together. I, I saw solar panels. I've never built a solar panel in my life. That's, it takes a, a, like a huge facility to build a solar panel. Same with batteries, uh, circuit boards, but they're readily available. You just gotta kind of put it together. So I'll show you guys the inside of it. So it's just like, it's just a single battery. I can get it from anywhere. The circuit board, I can get it from anywhere. The solar panel, China. Um, and then the shells can either be made uh, with 3D printers or you can, buy, you can buy my shell. So I also put the design up on, you know, for free online. So you, if you had a 3D printer or if you had access to a 3D printer, you could print your own shell for it. Can you expand on the other mic? I just want. Can you expand on the 3D printing technology, Jay? Yeah. I'll, and I'll, how cutting edge and how amazing it could be, and we can utilize it. Does anybody here uh, know what 3D printing is? Like raise your hand. Does anybody here not know what 3D printing is? One person. All right. I'll explain it to you then. Um, basically, a 3D printer builds objects from layers. So it draws something and then draws again and draws again over top, like vertically, and you ultimately build exactly what you want. So if you wanted to build a cup, you'd start with a circle, another circle, another circle, build the bottom of the cup, and then build the walls around it upward. You see how, you see how that works? Yeah, like the nozzle is basically like an upside down hot glue gun that's squeezing out material and then it's drawing with it. So it's building with uh, material, plastic. So that's 3D printing. Could you talk a little bit about the daisy chaining, right? Because, <laughs> definitely, you know, all, all of your devices can link up together and you can become your own grid. So if yours is low and you got a friend's, 
and you guys can daisy chain together. You guys can all link up. We all have had the opportunity to try to sit in that favorite chair on the sub where you can plug your phone in. Y'all know what chair we talk about. So, so talk a little bit about what that daisy chain idea is re regarding connecting up and help us out, help us to appreciate that a little bit. All right, cool. So he, he made a good point. I did mention that in my original description of the product. What makes this different than a lot of, you know, just battery chargers you could buy is that you could charge one of these with another one of these. If, so think, think about it for a second. Um, if you had one outlet, right, everyone's going for that one outlet. You could all just tie a single spore to it and then branch off of it. Or you could just branch everyone's spore on there so you're all getting electricity, you're all getting to share it. Uh, the way it works, Kind of with my products though is if you have one of these panels, you could collect twice as much energy, you know, using two different batteries. So you would you would have twice the amount of energy to just take and go wherever you want, rather than just charge the one. The spores on on Kickstarter can get up to 50, can can get up to sixty dollars with cables. Um, I think the tier right now because I sold out of my earlier tiers that I was kind of discounting them. Right now I think it's at fifty dollars. I think this is awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. I have a question. I have. I realize there's wires attached, but is it some part of it wireless? I mean, besides the sun. As it stands right now, no, it's a, it's a USB-based product. So okay. if you want to charge it, you need cables. In the future, yes, definitely. And there will be more. There, I'm going to keep innovating this product, and I think that's the beauty of it. It's going to continue to get better. I promise that. This is a movement. This is a mentality. This is an idea. And we have a chance to be a part of it. Power to all people. Let's get it. We got it. Uh, We'll um, answer a few questions. I'll even get up and take the microphone over to who has a question for Jason. And we got some giveaways, too. He bought some giveaways for us. How do you feel about your campaign being so successful within four days? And what do you want? What do you see the future of your product? And what do you want to do with it as the producer? Uh, so it's, so it's, been a, it's been a week now. And I got 40. Um, Ultimately, I'm like if you watch, if you go onto the site and watch the video, I'm, I'm sincere. Uh, I would like to bring this to places that don't have walls, like that don't have electricity um, to power their devices that everyone has. I firmly believe that if we can all kind of come into communication, and I feel like our phones do that perfectly, if we can just give everyone power for those mobile devices and then ignite kind of a, uh, a global conversation about anything and everything, you know, like that I feel like is what I'm here for. I want, I want to make that happen. So whatever it takes, whoever's hands I have to get this product into, um, I think it's going to empower people. I think it's going to help people um, you know, make their lives better through technology and through access to energy. Um, I don't know exactly how it's going to happen. You know, I really don't. Um, I don't know where I'm going to be in a year. Uh, but, but ultimately, I know what I'm going to be doing, and that's making act, like making energy more accessible, right? Access to electricity. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, definitely. Um, you know, we recently, what was it like, two months ago? You know, we went on a trip to Canada, Anthony, Jason, and myself. So. To hear about what he always had planned to actually manifest right now, you know, I'm in awe, you know what I mean? From just hearing your story from in the van that they, you know, drove the whole day and the whole night to it actually happening two months later. Just to charge your phone, there's, there's coal plants burning 24 seven. You could have this thing just sitting in your window and charge your phone, just take that device off of the grid. I think people inside the grid might get a little upset, but ultimately, I don't, I don't care. Because after we get done this tonight, I'm going up front to my computer so I can give a donation, not just as a friend, but to see it actually happen and work for the world because the world will change because of things like this. So, you know, I don't, I don't know, you know, Kickstarter's new to me, so you can go on there and donate a dollar. He only has 600 people that have donated money and he was able to accumulate 40 grand. That's huge. You know what I mean? So I want to be a part of it and I want everybody in here to leave here and go spread the word that is breaking from right here tonight. Do you, do you think you'll get any flack from like regular battery companies like Duracell or, you know, the bigger uh, battery companies that 
you know, sell disposable batteries? Disposable batteries? Um, I think they understand I'm competition, but they have their own alternatives to it. That you could buy a Duracell rechargeable battery, just just like what I'm offering. I don't think they're they're into solar at this point. Right. That being said, they they could they could see me as, as competition and build something that I'm building just probably cheaper. Uh, ultimately, it's going to be you know, do you want to buy your 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 energy from Duracell, uh, or do you want to buy your your you know energy from me? The born Mary sub stop, Philadelphia PA. Shots so loud, you would think it was a club spot. African Americans, although we all over the web, we the hood librarians. We ship the prisons too. We reach out and deliver to those that's bitten too. But it's more than a bookstore. You want it, we got it. Mixed taste, DVDs, and culture products. Black and Nobel got our hands in a lot of projects. We welcome all to come build the energy. It's positive. And remember, other team is awake and conscious. Come through and experience. This place of knowledge that said they'll put it in a book If they wanna hide it from us But we got them books so you can buy it from us Something to read while you on a train or riding a bus Get your read on, food for thought, get your eat on Black and Nobel I buy my books at Black and Nobel